In this video, we will try to understand how to find out beam reactions in case of simply supported beam carrying uniformly distributed load and it is having overhang on the right hand side as shown over here. So let us see the arrangement of the beam. So this is the simply supported beam. Now it is supported at A and B. It is carrying the uniformly distributed load of 2 kN per meter that is for 1 meter length the load that is acting is 2 kN. Then there is a point load of 5 kN as well as 10 kN as shown in the figure. Now the corresponding distances they are also shown over here. Now for this particular arrangement we have to find out the beam reactions at A and B. Now first we will convert this uniformly distributed load of 2 kN per meter into a point load. So the total distance on which this particular uniformly distributed load is acting is 3 plus 3 plus 2 that is 3 plus 3 that is 6 plus 2 that is 8 meter. So 2 into 8 that is 16. So it means that for 1 meter length the load that is acting is 2 kN. Then for 8 meter length the load that is acting will be 8 into 2 that is 16. And as it is a uniformly distributed load, it is a rectangular distribution. So it will act at the center of this 8 meter length that is 4 meter. So that particular arrangement is shown in the next figure. So we have converted this UDL into a point load of 2 into 8, 2 kN per meter and the total distance is 8, 8 meter. So 2 into 8 that is 16 kN acting at a distance of center of 8 meter that is 4 meter length from the left hand support. So we have converted this UDL into a point load and now we can easily find out the reactions, support reactions at A and B. So let us see how to find out these particular reactions. So first condition of equilibrium is summation of forces in y direction is equal to 0. Upward forces we have considered as positive whereas downward forces we have considered as negative. So RA and RB they are acting in the upward direction whereas 5 kN this 16 kN and this 10 kN they are acting in the downward direction and hence they are negative. So it is RA plus RB minus 5 minus 16 minus 10 is equal to 0 or we can say that RA plus RB is equal to 31 kN that is our first equation. The second condition of equilibrium is summation of moments is equal to 0. Assuming clockwise moments positive and anti-clockwise moments negative. So we will take moments about point A. Now start with RB, reaction RB. This RB, the arrow of this reaction RB will go in the anti-clockwise direction towards A. So it will produce negative moment or anti-clockwise moment and anti-clockwise moments we have considered as negative. So it is minus RB into 6 from B up to A, the perpendicular distance is 6. Then this 5 kN force will produce clockwise moment and the perpendicular distance from this point up to A is 3 meter, so it is 5 into 3. This 16 kN, that is the UDL which we have converted into point load, will also produce the clockwise moment about A. So this downward acting arrow will go in the clockwise direction towards A and the perpendicular distance from this point up to A is 4, so it is 16 into 4 that we have indicated over here. And finally, this particular point load of 10 kN, the downward arrow of this will also produce clockwise moment about A. So this 10 into perpendicular distance will be 3 plus 3 plus 2 that is 8. So 10 into 8. Now transfer this negative term that is minus RB into 6 on the other side it will become positive. So 5 into 3 plus 16 into 4 plus 10 into 8 will remain on the left hand side. So that is 159 is equal to RB into 6. 159 divided by 6 is equal to RB or we can say that RB is equal to 26.5 kN. Now we have to find out the reaction at A. So from equation 1 we can say that RA plus RB is equal to 31 kN. Now just transfer this RB on the other side so it is 31 minus RB. So that is 31 minus 26.5. So that is RA is equal to 4.5 kN. So in this way we can find out the reactions, support reactions at A and B in case of simply supported beam carrying point load as well as UDL and having a overhang on the right hand side. Thank you very much for